Hi guys, so this is a tutorial for the free pendant um, files that I gave you all for the um, Ear Art Designers group. And this file will also be on the website if you missed it. It will be listed on the website. If it's not already there, it will be there soon. So here is um, a tutorial for that. If you're going to use a photo with this, you'll want to make you you're first you're going to let's let's change these colors. Just change the color so you can see what's going on. That's all I'm doing right now. Okay, now I have all the colors changed. Now what what I'm going to do is line everything up bring that to the front keep that there in the back okay so I have everything lined up first you you before you do any photo work or whatever you're gonna want to make it the size that you're gonna make the size you need for the project you're doing so for me I think the one I did was two inch so let's say I was going with two inch a two inch pendant or charm I'll go ahead and size that so everything is sized to two inches now I don't need to do anything else now for the photo choose any photo you want and let's say you're gonna have a person in the send it to the back to get the photo the correct size it depends on how you're gonna set this up first of all so if you're going to use okay let's say top layer you're going to do with gold foil and let's say this will be silver glitter so that will go there now for the photo you can use this piece or just this piece it is up to you that is totally up to you so if you want it to fit into this area here then you're going you could take this use this as your guide to put it over the face how you you know whichever face you're going to use so let's let's say we're going to use her face so with the picture we're going to size it down some and we're going to make sure that her face fits into that hole and let's say we want it like kind of like that okay if you're going to use this piece then you will take and put that over the hole And then you select both and you will click slice. Then you will cut the photo off. Make step back. Step back. Let me just turn that off. And then you will turn this piece off as well. Now this when you start piecing this together. Print that out, print then cut. Let me make that this color gold. Then this would fit in there perfectly if you chose to go that route. You can also choose to make the image with, let me step back. You could also choose to make the image with this circle. So you would just place that circle over. You still use this to make sure the face gets inside of this hole. But then you would cut it from, you would slice it with that circle. 
and don't worry about let's show you don't worry about this little boy here like if you have other people in a picture don't worry about those people because you made sure this was the face that fit inside of this hole because everything else will be covered up so we know this will go into the back we know this will go in front of that send it to the back this is I'm showing you this as if you were um, putting it together after you get it all put together so then this would go here and then you wouldn't need this piece at all so that this piece was part of the original this piece this silver piece and the back piece they're all part of the original template so you wouldn't need that purple piece at, at all so you could do it like that and everything will fit perfectly everything is two inches the key to this is sizing everything at the same time then doing your cuts and using one of these as your template to lay over a photo to make sure that the image you want in this to be shown in the um, pendant is in the center here even if you cut it the same size as this back piece so then after after that you just these are your pieces you're cutting out of your gold foil and your silver then you will use these same pieces to do your layer layers so for your back you will just duplicate that you would need two of these because these are your back um, pieces this one that goes behind this and then one that flips over to the back for your um, back cover so then you would duplicate it and let's say you wanted six of these. I'm going to turn it black. Because let's just say I was using black um, cardstock. You can use white cardstock. Make sure you use 110 pounds. So let's say you need a six. You would duplicate that six times. Whenever you need. And for this layer, you would duplicate it. And you might want to do it. Um. six times for this layer you don't necessarily need to duplicate it you can if you want to so this would go on the back of you put all these six together one will go to the back and one will go to the front so once you glue to all of them together in a stack then you will have a back that's the back that's gold a front that's gold but this front will be covered up because you have the photo so then you would attach this photo you would glue it to the front or you didn't even you don't even have to use this another gold piece if you don't want to use an extra gold piece you don't have to it's your choice you could just glue this right to the front of one of these and then this glues to the front of this And then this will glue to the front. This, these will glue to the front of that first. Let me move these to the front. So these will glue on top. You don't have to do six. Three would do not six so this, that will be a thick pendant i don't know why i said the six so three would do or two it don't matter so then you glue that cut that off for now and then you glue this You use my make sure when you do the photo. Let me step back. Make sure when you do the photo, you go ahead and my podge it and let it dry before you start adding these other layers. So let's say you 
Yeah, you got it my posh and then you're gonna add these layers and then you can put your resin you'll have the pendant you can add a bail or if you watched the other videos you can um, see how to add a loop to this if you would like I hope this helps and if I've confused you please ask questions Thanks for watching.